yo te di mi cariño resultaste traicionera hey everybody uh what is today oh the 10th july 10th yesterday was the 9th tomorrow the 12th maybe and the day after that well you get the point you get the whole you get the gist of it how numbers work uh let's see if we got another morning episode today so good morning if it's morning when you're watching this if it's evening if it's noon i don't know whatever um uh, so i'm back we had a little bit of rain yesterday so the roads are a little slick but it's not raining anymore it's supposed to rain today but didn't they lied to me i thought i'd have another day off that's all right um we have a doordash order for walgreens for six items it was for 12.25 for six miles so i took it like a crazy person actually that, that's a pretty good order compared to the last couple days um, so my life went pretty good um, I didn't have that many viewers but I had some and I was expecting zero uh, so I do appreciate the viewers that I had and there's some people that are still watching um, the, because the video still up from that day from yesterday so so that's good um, so yeah if, if you have time Tuesday Afternoon, Tuesday evenings, or whatever that time's considered, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Eastern, Tuesdays. If you have time, stop by and ask me some questions because I ran out of things to talk about. <laughs> I was talking about the nonsense on my desk, but it's all useful stuff. It's very insightful information. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I could. Um, I answered some questions. Um, so. Some things were revealed that wasn't trying to reveal. People were talking in the background. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, let's go to Walgreens. Find me a new wife. You know, you know. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I now need some cereal. Some Cheerios and some Band-Aid stuff. So I'm gonna go to the Cheerios first and then the Band-Aid stuff. Oh, shucks. Press the button again. What else do I need here? Oh, medicated body powder. Hey, would you know where this itch cooling spray would be? I think it's Benadryl, so it might be in, under allergy, maybe. Uh, that doesn't look like something we. What about um that uh p powder like um uh, this Gold Bond medicated powder? I'm thinking maybe it's near that section too. Ah, uh, that's a this one. Yeah, I know. It says body powder, I think. But that other stuff might be here, too. That itch stuff. Look. What, is this where the... Well, yeah, let's look where the... Where's regu regular Benadryl? Is it here in this one? Muscle joint, pain relief. Interesting. Uh, 
Be on the other side, maybe. I right, check over here. Let me know if you see it. There's some allergy stuff. That's just but regular. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I'll keep looking, buddy. If you wanna, I'll see what I could see what I could do. Oh, hi, I was just looking for this Benadryl spray. Spray? It's in the back wall. Back wall. NIH. Okay. There's an NIH section? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. This is four ounce. Woohoo! Six minutes, 16 seconds instead of 10 minutes. This one's a, not too bad. I have a little bit of help. And this I found over by like the body washes and stuff. I don't know how. That's where it was. McDonald's order for three miles, 3.8 miles. Um, it's a 1.7 miles to the store, so really two miles. That last order took me pretty far out of my area, so I'm getting back in there. This is my area. So now we're going to McDonald's. Oh, it's two orders, but it's still very few miles, so it still fits in the mile range. I wish it wasn't two orders. Maybe they're going to the same place. Let's see, while I'm driving. 807 and 817 so no they're not going to the same person but let's go to mcdonald's anyway maybe my acceptance will go up let's see that too while i'm driving uh, let me see oh 73 percent woo let's go to mcdonald's <laughs> I actually have two of them, so... What's your number? 209 and 38A. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Let me call you sweetheart. <laughs> Hello, I had this for a tailor, but he wants me to hand it to him, so I guess I'll wait. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, scan your back. Um, there you go. I'm still trying to learn. All right. All right. This person, tailor wants to be difficult. Everybody else just has me leave it. <laughs> yeah. They want to be difficult. to an automatic 
Okay, now he says to leave it. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. So, a bit of a confession. Um, ever since DoorDash started the tier system, whenever I have a hand it to me order and the person doesn't answer, usually it, before it would make me wait five minutes and then let me take a picture and leave it whenever or wherever the, the, at the correct address. But ever since we got the tier system, it doesn't have a timer anymore. Take the next lap onto Lindbergh. I'll press the button saying uh, I can't hand the order the cut to the customer, and it'll just let me leave it if I want to. Take a picture or whatever. But I usually don't because I know it's a handed to me order, and so I usually wait the five minutes anyway. I'm not gonna wait for this crappy old zero tip order for this guy, so. I waited longer than I should have. I called, I messaged, texted. So that's what he gets. And supposedly once the timer used to go off, they couldn't rate you anyway. So I'm hoping that once I took the picture, since it didn't have a timer, that they won't be able to rate me. But I'm not gonna wait. It's $6 altogether for two orders. So you took probably nothing. You know what I'm saying? I realize it's close or whatever, but I don't have time for you to wait, you know, to wait for However little you paid, fella. Everybody else, like I said, like I told the security guy, um, everybody else lets you leave it there and then they can pick it up at the desk there. He wasn't answering, so anyway, you're not gonna ruin my day. Let's go to this next delivery that I still have that other McDonald's order. What the heck? Hello. Morning. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. So I have an order for Panera for seven dollars and eleven cents. That is not upside down. And now they're sending me another order for Meyer for an extra 1.9 miles for 6.25 for three items that I'm going to take because why not? Oh my! Compl I had declined an order earlier, so I'm back down to 72% completion uh, acceptance. Because it was for three dollars four miles or something like that or more than that something like that for Taco Bell but I didn't take it so my completion is down to 72 percent again I mean oh my acceptance again I keep saying completion those two are the ones that DoorDash tracks the most I guess so let's go to Panera and pick up this nonsense let's see what we, we could uh what trouble we could get ourselves into let's see here we go y'all Yeah, I need some pumpkin, pure pumpkin can, Libby's. And that is on aisle B11, all the way over there. Okay, let's see if it's this one. That's not it. <sighs> Libby's. Okay, so they don't have it. Do they have a true goodness one? Or a goodness organic? I 
One, two, three. Minute 42 instead of 2.30. My best work, but I had to find out where it was. Hello. Yeah, good morning. I'm delivering your order from Panera, and I said to call you to see where you would like your order left. Is it okay if I just leave it by your front door? Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'll be right there. All right. So with the last couple of deliveries that we just did, the Meyer and the other was a Panera. In um, our acceptance went up to 74 percent. Ours being yours and mine, um, for the channel, I guess. Um, so I was able to decline a couple orders. I, I have a, I had a Ben, Bob Evans order for like three dollars for seven miles, and then a Wendy's order for four dollars for seven miles that I declined. So now I'm down to 72% again. But um, I just now got a McDonald's order again for 5.50 a mile and a half that I took. So let's go do that. And... I think I'm running kind of low on battery, so let's see how much better we have. Oh, 51%, not too bad. Ow. 5B9, yeah, thank you. Hi, it's for Zoe. For who? Zoe. You have a last name? W. It says to go up the third floor, make a left, leave it on the desk. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who Zoe is, but sure. I followed the instructions. Yep, you sure did. Nineteen seventy-five for seventy-eight items. Let me see where this is going to. And I'm going to decline it, and there goes my 73%. Three target items and 19 all the items for 12 miles. I'm going to take that one, I guess. Okay, so I need some lady stuff and some a bag of popcorn. I'm here and then all these couple stores over. Okay, so I need the Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Large ones, small, extra large. Come on, large. Two of these boys. And popcorn, wherever the snacks are. No idea. Family size. Took two minutes, 25 seconds, instead of four minutes and 30 seconds. So, so, so hey, um, why are you calling this no I'm somebody. Good morning, how are you? Good. I look like you're kind of lonely, so I came over here instead of going on self-checkout. Yeah. 
Also, I'm gonna try these for myself. See if they help me. Okay. Think that's a good idea, you think? Sure. <laughs> you agree? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. They're not for me. Okay. 3644. Okay. Well, you don't need the cart. I am. We'll give you your quarter here. Thank you, baby. You got it. You know, I, I keep I one just for this. Carts, I, so have I, to have a I do. I'm doing DoorDash, so I keep a quarter with me. I yep. pocket every time. <laughs> That's the only money I carry too. I don't want to get uh -huh. robbed. You know. <laughs> And I am at the room. I'm gonna shop it here. Head north towards. Chuck told me I could do this, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, okay, some minced onions, minced onion powder, need minced onions. Minced garlic. Powder, is this minced onion? Yep. So there's an Aldi right by Target, and as you know, I had an order for a Target and Aldi for whatever money that was, 24 or something. Take the next left onto free. And so I assumed that after I shopped that Target order, that the Aldi that I was going to was the one right next door. Oh, I know I shouldn't have went out this way. So I gave that lady my quarter, took her card, went all the way inside the store. Go to hit the arrived button and it's telling me I'm too far away from the store. So I look and it may or may not have been the wrong Aldi. May or may not have been. I mean, I don't know if I said it when I walked in the store or whatever, but may or may not have been the wrong Aldi and they wanted me to go to a different Aldi way far away. So I'm assuming it's further closer to that customer's house than it is to right next door to that order while I was just shopping so I didn't feel like putting the cart back going all the way back and wasting more time for nothing so I got all the items at that Aldi now I got that I have to deliver the Target first and I have to deliver that Aldi second so just so you know, I'm not saying you should do this, and I didn't, I wasn't the first one to. I watched it on a on Dashing Across America with um, Chuck. He's the one that um, I noticed that he did it a couple times when he was doing DoorDash. I'm not trying to get him in trouble, but it was on his video, it was on his YouTube video, so I'm assuming I could say it. And, but he mostly, I think he did it mostly like on Dollar Generals, and then he stopped doing Dollar General orders. Uh, he stopped doing shopping pay orders. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't know But no, um, so I don't recommend I'm just saying in a pinch it'll work But I, I don't think it's probably something you should do very often if you do do DoorDash If you do do DoorDash Because I wouldn't risk it. It's just one more reason to risk your job. So In case You don't see me anymore. That's what happened. No, I'm just kidding. I'm hopefully it won't all right, see you at the drop off. Before I could deliver that last order, so before I could deliver that last order, I got a heavy order. Um, 
I got a high V offer that I accepted for $14 for three miles, four items that they added on. So I still have that Aldi order still in the back, but it's only four items. I know it's some alcohol. Quiet lady. And I don't know what else. Looks like all alcohol. Might be going to my friend uh, Terry. Let me see. Let me see. I'll let you know. Yep, go to my friend Terry. He's so nice. He's a nice guy. He's a tough guy, but he's a nice guy. Sometimes, you know, something people think that if you're a tough guy, you can't be a nice person. But if, if you're a real tough guy, you could be nice. And I, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's go to, let's go to Hive me real quick. Oh. I need this purple one, maybe? Oh, this one. Hopefully it's this one. It's 23 ounces. Uh, try this one. Get up in there. Cranberry. Strawberry. Some cranberry. Strawberry. Again. Ooh. And I need some twenty four pack of Budweiser. Do I need the bottles? Yeah, bottles. So that took like a minute something instead of eight minutes, I think it was. Oh my damn. Oh my damn. You sure? Thank you. You know, I never do this when I shop a lot of stuff and then pay here. I do it all the time too. Oh my damn. Oh. Oh, wrong Great. side. <laughs> I was like, where? Is it? <laughs> I'm staying out of that one. Thirty-three ninety-nine. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I don't mean to no, you're fine. say anything inappropriate. I usually I don't. Work in the liquor <laughs> I, you know, we we talk sometimes, yeah, so I forget I could say. Yeah, not gonna say anything. That's why I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny though. I don't really talk that way, but it's just, you know, I'm still a guy, so, you know, yeah. you're still in my mind. Yeah. Thank you. you See you later. Morning, Terry. How are you? Right. Day by day. You got it. That's the only one thing we can I do. I'm tired of pissing with that killing and the high V. Why? Well, they're hot all the time? All the time. You know, I tried it. Wasn't too bad. I know. It got me a nice 12 pack. Yep. That maybe I'm the reason that it was out. Because <laughs> I know you told me it was pretty good, so I tried it. Not too bad. So yeah, they, I, I know they have the six packs more often than they do the 12 packs, yeah. Terry. I've seen those a lot. I just get tired of every time I order beer getting questions by uh, everyone. You know those no. guys, they don't try to hard out imagine either. No. <laughs> no. You know, one guy, I think I've only gave one bad review. Yeah. And she was not friendly to begin with. And 
And Terry, it's not like it, it's not like you don't tip well. You do so. And, and then well, I won't keep you because I know you got. That's okay. Uh, but you know, I asked for killings and didn't have the six packs either. That was my substitute uh -huh. time. And then she got over to and was looking at twenty three ounce. Mike's hard, and I was like, no. I said sixteen ounce and substitute if yeah. you got two through the sixteen ounce. I don't care. I said, uh, but anyway, she brought twenty three two twenty three ounce cans and. And then she kept calling, saying, uh, "Well, what do you want to substitute the killing with?" Or not calling, but texting. Yeah. And then here, I don't get that good of reception. Mm. And so, anyways, I said, "Just forget it." <laughs> it this time. Yeah. And she goes, "Well, you can't do that now." And I called corporate in San Francisco, and they said the same thing. They went on over our conversation. Yeah. And thing. I said, "You better look back a little bit farther because she did not do what she was supposed to do." And they finally re returned my uh, fifty bucks. You know, that's, uh, store credit. right, right, right. You know, that's not a difficult job. You just gotta, you just gotta care sometimes. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You know? like I said I'd rather be going to the grocery store than having my car smell like curry and. Oh yeah, that's that's another problem. I, I don't do any of that. So I, yeah, that's so. that. One guy said he goes, man, he quit doing. It's terrible on the food because you know your food didn't taste like it. it, it and everything. See, my whole car stunk like food. I kept. They don't put the lids on the sodas, and I had them all over the floorboard. And he says I quit doing. It. All right, I'll see you, Terry. Yep, please. Be for us today. Um, thanks everybody for watching, especially the people that watch my live after it went live. There's a bunch of nonsense. Sorry about that. It, it probably made a little more sense if if we had watched it live. But if you didn't watch it live and you still watch it, thank you. I still appreciate it. I was and a lot of the times I was answering some questions that were in the chat. So. If I was just talking about random things, that's why I was talking about these things. Um, I really do appreciate you watching my videos. I know there's bigger channels that have thousands and thousands of, you know, subscribers and get thousands of watch hours or whatever it was it is, or millions maybe. So, thank you for choosing Bucks. Where you get help with Spanish translation is that is that my thing anyway don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you haven't and if you don't like it say hey look I hate this guy you should watch because it's terrible nonsense but if you do like it even better what's wrong with you <laughs> I know there's a lot around with me I say enjoy I say you know be proud of your things that make you wrong is that right different uh i don't know what i'm talking about see you next video oh don't forget to drive like still i almost forgot Bye. <laughs>